Hello, my name is Rosie Sanchez. I'm an AVID tutor and I'm sponsored by the Office of Student Success. Today I will be going over synthetic division. The problem I will, I will be using is 2x to the power of 4 plus 7x to the power of 3 plus x minus 12 divided by x plus 3. The formula I will be using is the dividend divided by the divisor. The first number always comes down, will give us the quotient and our remainder. The first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is completely find my divisor. In order to do that, I need to equal my divisor to 0 and solve for x. Okay. Right, so my divisor is negative 3. And that's what we're going to plug in here. Right, the next thing we have to do is get the main terms for my dividend. In order to do that, first I need to check if any exponent is missing from 4 all the way to 0. So right here we have 4 we have 3, we're missing 2, so since we're missing 2, we're going to go ahead and substitute it for 0. This is 1, and this is 0, because he has 0 x's. Right? So the term for the exponent 4 is 2, the term for the exponent of 3 is 7, The term for the exponent of 2 is 0 because we're missing that. The, expo the exponent, the term for the exponent 1 is 1. And the term for exponent 0 is negative 12. Okay. Now that we got this information, we're going to go ahead and plug in our, both our divisor and our new dividend into our formula. Okay. Go ahead and start with my dividend which is 2, 7, 0, 1, and negative 12, divided by my divisor, which is negative 3. Right? First thing that you have to remember is what I had stated before. Always bring down the first number, this time being 2. Okay. Next thing, we're going to multiply this 2 times our divisor. 2 times negative 3 gives us negative 6. 7 plus negative 6 gives us 1. 1 times negative 3 gives us negative 3. 0 plus negative 3 gives us negative 3. Negative 3 times negative 3 gives us 9. 1 plus 9 gives us 10. 10 times negative 3 gives us negative 30. We go ahead and add those last two numbers. Negative 12 plus negative 30 gives us negative 42. Right? The last number will always be our remainder. So therefore, we already have one answer. R equals negative 42. Now the next thing we have to do is find our quotient. So I'm going to go ahead and rewrite those numbers being 2, 1, negative 3, and 10. First thing we have to remember is the last number never has an x. That being said, he has 0 x's and from there we're going to be counted forward 0, 
he has 1x, he has 2, and he has 3. Right? So he has 1x, x here, and an x there. Right? The next thing we have to do is bring down our signs. 2 is a positive, so he has a positive up front. 1 is a positive, he has a positive right here. 3 is a negative, so that stays there. And 10 is a positive, so we put a plus here. Right? Now that I'm going to go ahead and rewrite that. 2x to the power of 3 plus 1x squared minus 3x plus 10. Right? And that is our quotient, or known as our Q of x. Once again, we did this doing synthetic division, finding our quotient and our remainder. Oh, I messed that up. Right, and that is our quotient. Q of x is equal to 2x to the power of 3 plus x squared minus 3x plus 10. And that's how you find your quotient and your remainder doing synthetic division. Once again, my name is Rosie Sanchez. I'm an avid tutor, and I'm sponsored by the Office of Student Success.